State leaders came together for the first time in 10 years to discuss how public school programs aimed at student success are performing. News 13's Chandler Farnsworth breaks down which programs are getting more funding and the other that is not making the cut. Really what you should be focusing on is not how much you're spending, but how you're spending it and is it showing any results. School meals, summer programs, and career-driven education were just some topics discussed by lawmakers this week as they work to decide which education programs should continue to receive government funding. We still believe that continuing to improve student achievement and literacy is so critical to the success of students and our success as a state that we are recommending uh, that you all continue funding the Summer Literacy Institute. In 2025, the summer reading program will get more than $27 million and the state's universal school meals will receive $41 million. The work-based learning programs can expect to see a pot of about $40.6 million. While advisors recommended to get rid of a program that measures the poverty level of a school. Unfortunately, uh, despite the good intentions of the program, we've seen a few challenges uh, that have contributed to the large amount of unspent money. Financial analysts said that program was meant to close education gaps. However, they did not find any significant improvements. And these expenses to us as staff signal that schools were using this supplemental money on basic operational needs rather than targeted interventions. Chandler Farnsworth, KRQE News 13. These programs will be funded through government grants.